On a dry subject like bankruptcy law, there are very, very few opinions that are fun to read. I suppose there are a good number of decisions by Seventh Circuit judges Frank Easterbrook or Richard Posner that amount to good literature simply because they have such a marvelous command of the English language. This week on Rochelle's Daily Wire, video edition, I recommend that you read a June 7 opinion by bankruptcy judge Dennis Mentali from San Francisco in that very large, very important reorganization of PG&E Corp, the power and gas utility out in California. In no uncertain terms, Judge Montali says that the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission has nothing whatsoever to say about his power to authorize PG&E to reject power purchase agreements. Let me give you a, just a little tiny flavor of some of the language in his opinion, which really makes quite delightful reading. He said, among other things, that FERC's uh, opinions, thinking that it has concurrent jurisdiction to bar the rejection of public power agreements, just does not hold water. He said, among other things, that FERC's opinion is absurd, Kafkaesque, bold, unfounded, and then if that's not enough, he went on to say that FERC's opinion is a toothless advisory opinion and uh, it amounts to an unauthorized power play. As I said, Judge Montali's opinion is a delight to read, but it's also very important. His decision one of these days, probably in the next year or so, is going to end up in the Ninth Circuit with a monumental, extremely important decision by a court of appeals on whether or not FERC has some power alongside the bankruptcy court to deal uh, with the authorization of rejection of power purchase agreements. I am Bill Rochelle, Editor-at-Large for American Bankruptcy Institute. I am signing off now and I will see you again same time next week with something else important that has just occurred in the arena of bankruptcy law.